been pretty disciplined defensively over the last few games. You know, your ability to kind of stay down, not bite on those kind of pump fakes. Um, how do you think you've been developing uh, as far as that dis- discipline is concerned? Just studying film, taking my time on studying film, like figuring out the angles, especially a player like Jokic. Like he's a great player in this league. So just trying to um, know my, like just knowing my personnel and just studying film and studying film got like just brought me a long way because I'm a fast learner. So when I study film, I can be able to uh, imitate that and put it on the floor. So, What did you learn tonight playing against Jokic? Man, he got like a lot of tricks. So I just had to make sure I just stay attentive like every second that like that I was guarding him. So just like the way he spent off, um, I knew that I was supposed to get like an arm bar on him, but he got me on a spin move uh, with the N one. But uh, I was just learning. So like each quarter I got better and then he tried to hit me with a pump fake, but I didn't go for it. So like each quarter I was most definitely improving and getting better. James West Goldberg, Barry and News Group. Um, when you say you watch film, I obviously you're doing a lot of things with that, but how much of it is just basic uh, pick and roll with your teammates and just sort of reviewing the timing and the spacing on that stuff? I um, mean, Steph actually went through that, um, like went through that scenery um, two days ago. We actually went through the pick and roll schemes. We're trying to figure out like how to build our chemistry together. So it was much better um, this game. And also Draymond was there too. So he was teaching me like different angles, like how to take it to make it easier for me. Um, so yeah, really we just been in practice, just putting in work and just trying to build our chemistry up. So. Obviously the lob has been effective when it's been thrown to you. Um, but Steve mentioned some of those interior passes, you know, bounce passes to you and th- things that are kind of more risky that are getting picked off. Right. How do you kind of fix some of those issues as far as the communication goes with some of your teammates that are throwing these things? Really just trying to make sure that I be um, very vocal on my end, like just on the court, just make sure I just have this sign because they can throw it up and like they can see that. But uh, it's going to take time because we're a new team. We like we build it. Uh, we're trying to build our chemistry up together. So it's going to take time, but it's coming together. But I just got to make sure that I be vocal and just um, make sure that we just like in practice that we just have that chemistry. So in the game, it'd be easier. So. That was your first time in the Denver altitude. Do you actually feel that? I mean, do you feel a difference um, just air-wise when, when you're playing? Uh, it was insane. Like, the third possession, I was already, like, man, just super tired. But um, uh, I went to the USA camp a lot in Colorado Springs. So I've been up here for a while. So I'm, like, really used to it because I've been to the USA camp more than once um, when I was 16, 17, 18 years old. So um, it's not that bad at all. But, the man, like, at the beginning of the game, it was kind of crazy. I ain't going to lie.